We are currently on a four day long car ferry in the middle of the ocean on our way to Alaska. There's literally whales jumping out there right now. Like I can't even make this up. Then Lou got really, really sick all of a sudden, which unfortunately is just a part of this cancer journey. Down to a hunger strike where he pretty much refused to eat. Okay, the Yukon is actually the single most gorgeous place I have ever been in my entire life. Here we go. We're officially in Alaska, bub. How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel like you should be way more excited, I'm just saying. Entering Alaska time zone. Blue and I have waited years for this trip. Years to get to Alaska. Oh my gosh. And we're here. What? We're almost to the American border. Bubby, how many years have we waited for this trip? And it all comes down to this moment. Blue doesn't care. Oh, Hi. Sorry. Is just you in the car? Me and the dog. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Michigan. Okay. And so why is your car on the right here? <laughs> <laughs> I imported it from the UK. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> they give you a treat, Bubby, but you can't have it because you're on a strip rock. We'll find another dog to get that too. I don't know what it is about border patrol people. They're so nice. I've always been told everybody's so mean and they're not. They're like the nicest people ever. Oh my gosh, we're in Alaska. I need to find some American coffee. <laughs> Canada does not take their coffee seriously enough. I'm, everything is just brewed very weak and I have been in dire need of like a true gritty American coffee for the last two and a half days, actually since before I got on the boat. So it's been a solid week. I'm going nuts, you know what I mean? Let's see if we can find a coffee house somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're in Alaska. <laughs> when I got off the boat in Haines, Alaska, I actually cried happy tears because it was so, because it was so gorgeous. So <laughs> I'm very emotional to be here right now. There's a moose crossing. <laughs> We're in Alaska. Very nice. Right back. You too. Nancy. Oh, hello there, Papa Lou. objective today for our day one of entering Alaska is pretty much just to drive. I have a lot of distance to cover. Drop. So the plan is to wear out Bub here, check my fluids really quick because I haven't done that on Poe yet, and then hit the road. Find somewhere to camp along the way, do a lot of exploring tomorrow. What do you guys think? Good plan? I think that's a good plan. I kind of like to uh, just get driving out of the way when I have somewhere I want to be. It's nice to break it up sometimes, but I've been driving so much the last couple of days, I just want to get it over with. If I can do this. <laughs> Wait. but I've added this new brush guard, which is making it difficult. Bubby, go get your ball. All right, come on, Maria. Root strength, here we go. Life is all about confidence, not really what kind of strength you have. 
That's what I'm gonna tell myself right now. I can do this. Can I? Oh, no idea. <laughs> I'm just like afraid I'm gonna push myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am Hercules. Are you freaking kidding me? Name someone stronger. You can't. <laughs> so proud of myself right now. Looking good on coolant. Slave cylinder is Gucci. Brake fluid is beautiful at max. Clutch fluid is beautiful at max. Coolant level is beautiful at max. <laughs> Also, I just calculated Poe's miles per gallon. The last time we filled up till now, 29 miles per gallon. That diesel engine, baby. Are you kidding me, 29? Poe, he's just like, sorry I broke down so much. I've got you, girl. That's what my defender just said to me, okay. We're even good on wiper fluid. New belt looks perfect. Let me check oil and we can get out of here. No ball yet? How have you not found it yet? Go get your ball, bub. I believe in you, kid. You got this. You can get on oil as well. Dang, guys. We are killing it. All right, how do I get this hood down without slamming it on myself is the question. Bubby, go get your ball. I believe in you. You've got this. <laughs> Look what's in the spare tire. Isn't that funny? Hey, Bubby. I have a solution to your problem. Look at my kid, he's so athletic. Stage five lymphoma who? <laughs> yeah. Although you still have no appetite, which is scaring me a little bit, but baby steps. You guys, apparently the best Mexican food in America is in Alaska. Who knew? Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Ten out of ten. That is, oh my gosh. <sighs> this is a really good day, Blue. This is a really good day. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh. This has no business being this good. <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. Nowhere. What? I have the best thing to make this even better. The best hot sauce literally ever. You can get it at REI and Whole Foods and probably Walmart. Go get some. Get out of here. Get out of here. Does anybody else get an emotional connection to your food or is that just me? This just made my whole day. Holy cow. Wow. Off to camp we go. Well, we found camp. Let's go potty. Come on, let's go potty. Go potty. Come on. Stopped in town to get some stuff for Blue. How cute is this? Like poopery, pet purry. I'm such a sucker for marketing. Okay. 
is rainy and cold. Afternoon guys. This morning Blue and I woke up and I tried to get him to eat a little bit because he's been on that hunger strike pretty bad. I've been really worried about him, but good news, he ate. Oh boy, Bubby. Not a ton, just a little bit, but something is better than nothing. The goal today is to do some exploring. Okay, see Alaska a little bit. I want to get Blue out of the truck specifically because poor guy has just been on a boat or in a truck for the last week and has not stretched his legs really at all. I want to find a campsite too that I can actually get out in like a true campsite, not just the side of the road like we've been doing. So anyways, that's what we're on about today. But first I need to run a couple errands. I need to get diesel and I need to go to the store. There's a few things we need to buy for Blue and his upset tummy, so. Errands we go. Errands we go. To errands we go. To do errands we go to. I don't even. <laughs> Time we whipped this thing out again. Oh, this thing is so warm. Okay. Let's go take some cool pictures, bub. Let's go explore Alaska. Our first real Alaskan activity. And we waited years to do this. Okay, come on. Stay strapped, my friends. Look how excited he is. Oh my gosh. No, you have to stay on leash this time, bub. No free roaming for bub when we're in Alaska. Know what I mean? Drink the water. Good boy. So you want? All right. The snow on top of the mountain is like blue, like electric blue ice. Alaska is so wicked cool. <laughs> that is just crazy. I just don't even feel like it's translating on camera. It really is just a big version of the ice caves in Washington. That blue is nuts though. That glacier blue, crazy. Go find camp. Why is it stuck like that? Like in the rainy season of Alaska, of course, that's when my wiper would decide to not work right. Let's hope this campsite works out because it's the only one I have downloaded with no service. If people are there, if it's not open or not available, we are SOL. Oh, I think that's it. Wait, this is kind of perfect. Oh, blue is gonna be so disgusting in this mud. Oh, you okay? What do you think, buddy? All right, buddy, let's switch your leash before you totally wreck this one. Okay. 
bought blue a long line just because I'm not taking any chances in Alaska. This is grizzly bear country up here, polar bear in some parts, okay? They're not gonna be getting my dog. And although he's gray off leash, has the recall of a award-winning dog, I just don't wanna take any chances of him going too far. Oh, this is gonna be so mucky. It's gonna be so mucky. Oh, maybe I should just put you on a tree. How do you feel about being on a tree? Or maybe I'm a strut to the alley cab. Man, I haven't put that thing up in over a week. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it kind of hangs out of the mud. Bubby, if you want water, she's right here. Drink the water. I can't remember what time sun sets, but I think I have like an hour, hour and a half-ish left before the sun goes down. I have not properly had a chance to organize Rue since. We took a ferry to Alaska and drove for two, three days straight, so obviously everything is a mess. As it typically is, I'm gonna take a moment to take my boots off, climb inside, put the ceiling up, and just organize everything, so. Cue some sort of cleaning music, okay? Hey, Bubby. <laughs> How did you even do that? Huh? Ugh. I feel like I have room to breathe in here now. I have the cutest dog on planet Earth, and you can't even argue with me. So. Oh, he's lost so much weight since his cancer diagnosis, it's not even funny. Oh boy. <laughs> Should we make you food? Are you gonna eat? Now that Blue has been eating a little bit today, and his hunger strike really was only over the last two days of the boat, and then a day since he got off, I'm wondering if Blue had some sort of motion sickness because when I tell you how bad that upset for him was, it was terrible, okay? I'm talking like everything exited his system in any way that it could. It was really scary. I was researching for the raw diet, like what could I do to help him? Butternut squash was on the list. Now at the store I looked for canned butternut squash, frozen butternut squash, anything but a full one so that I don't have to cut this up myself. But here we are. This is so scary. All right, bub. I'm so happy he's eating. Like, I could cry. I can't even tell you guys how stressed out I've been the last few days just watching him be on a hunger strike on top of everything he's fighting right now. It was insane. Dinner's gonna be really special tonight. If you know, you know. I want to know the last time I made protein oatmeal on the channel. It had to have been last winter. If you guys are OG subscribers, you know I went through a phase a year ago at least. Last summer for sure, but it's been going on for years. I kind of fall in and out of it every couple months. Where I made protein oatmeal like almost every single night for six months straight maybe. And then I forgot about it and I just realized I still had all the stuff for it. I feel the obsession coming back. I'm going to be eating this every single night for the next six months again. It is so good. Look at that. Life is so good right now, Bubby. You're eating again. You're feeling better. Protein oatmeal. We're in freaking Alaska. <sighs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna come up in the alley cap with me, bub. There you go. 
What do you think? Yeah. Good boy. It is so much warmer up here than down there. Like so much more comfortable. But this is gonna be way better. Okay. You know, you get a little anxious up here, but I feel like it's gonna be way better. Let him. No. Don't hump, Bubby. <laughs> Stop. I really should have changed out of my jean shirt jacket before <laughs> climbing into bed. Whatever, I'm too lazy now. Any night, Pupperlo. Oh my gosh, it's a mud pit. <laughs> Morning. Can't swipe off your paws. Last paw, bub. There you go. All right, bub, we gotta get out of here. It's time to go to the airport. You guys can't really see because of the window, but that is nuts.